Hi everyone, just a quickie with this latest phone, it's um, well I would consider to be more modern uh, than the other ones, I don't know the exact date of it but it's um, it's certainly later than the other Iskra that I've got. Um, I've got mixed feelings about it, uh, you know they, they've obviously reduced a lot of the technical bits and bobs, they made it easier to uh, manufacture. All the bits are obviously there and um, it's not a bad phone. I'm pleased to get it because it's just another one to add to the collection. Uh, it's the Iskra, uh, it's the Iskra ATA22. So it, it, it adds to interest and in that also interesting that the handsets a different shape. There's one or two that uses this the same shape handset, but as I say, modern times meant that um, a lot of the things of the older ones are obviously improved. Well, I say improved. I like to see the old stuff, but um, this is not not bad. I'm very very pleased and very pleased with the actual sender. Um, from uh, Yugoslavia, the item was in Zagreb, Croatia. I'm very, very grateful, and um, the person's looking at the, my YouTube, which they might do. Uh, a big thank you, and also while I'm on talking about thank you, I'd also like to thank all you uh, members who have subscribe to me I think mainly through the interest in the succulent plants as I keep saying I, I, I do have difficulty which is getting worse in replying by typing because um, to be quite honest I just can't see what I'm looking at and it, the operation can't come quick enough but interesting with this one you've got the original plug it's like a three pin plug but the the outers are the ones that were used that conducted the circuit. The bell with this for some unknown reason it might be that the bell current is not sufficient to make it ring. It tries to ring so there's continuity there but that's not a problem as I say I can't have them all ringing. Uh, it'd be like a madhouse. Um, Dial, dial looks quite well made as well. Um, sorry I'm not showing the uh, the innards. Um, if anyone wants more information on this give me a shout and I'll try and answer them. There's also no circuit diagram inside uh, which is a disappointment but as I say we can't have everything. Um, a circuit could probably turn up in uh, rotary phone forums. I'll have to have a little look. But as I say, it's a typical Iskra. Look at the back. That's what we got at the base. You've got a, a bell adjuster there. And the way they show it, once again, is a bell and a buzzing bee. You can either have it on a buzzer or a bee. But unfortunately, uh, I can't show you this working because there's just not enough line current or ringing current to make it operate. Uh, it may be wired up differently as well. But without a diagram I can't really check it. But if I get a diagram I will have a look and come back on it. Um, all in all, it's, as I say, it's, 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 it's not a bad phone. Um, you know, we tend to think the the newer things are perhaps not as well made as the old things. It's quite firm and quite rigid and uh, as I say I'm pleased it survived without any damage. It was double boxed and it, it got through our postal service. In fact the postman that brought it or, or, or delivery he remembered me from, from last week saying I hope it's okay. I said well I hope it is. So I'm, I'm well pleased. 
while we're looking at the dial, this is the correct way the dial fits in. It looks like it should go the other way round, but that is the way it should be. Um, you haven't got anything about fire police ambulance on the front. You've just got the name Iskra Krenji and the trademark which represents a spark because Istra means spark. The handset as I showed you has got a squared transmitter and receiver. It's, as I say, it's not a bad phone. Um, you do get a bit sort of thinking, oh, it should should be made with this, it should be a bit uh, made firmly inside. The dial is just, to my opinion, it's just propped up by two little uh, clips or uh, pieces of metal that fit into the, to the dial, so it's okay. But as you can see, it's rigid enough. There's nothing wrong with it. It does the job. It's quite a neat, compact phone. You've got your name on, on there as well, Iskra. I think that's more or less it. And also, while I'm talking about that, I've got from the same seller on my wrist a Casio watch which goes on the um, different areas in the world which sends out a signal. It's radio controlled. It's what they call, um, get the name there, it also came from the same seller so I was well pleased. Um, in fact the picture of it on eBay showed it very much scratched which was actually didn't do it justice because I can't see a scratch on it. It's uh, from 2006 so it's a few years old but it's obviously been well looked after and um, also very grateful for Casio who I rang up because I hadn't a clue how you set these and a gentleman from Casio's told me exactly what to do, how to set it up to show the correct time and also how to put the automatic setting in so that when the British summer time starts it will start automatically so hopefully I haven't got to do anything and added thank you was he sent me um, uh, the complete write up for that particular model so I was well pleased and I say I'm very pleased I feel a bit guilty it was you know the it was all, almost a giveaway price, but there we are. Sept, oh, what they call it? Um, my memory's not as good as it used to be. Probably get the name down there. It's um, arranged so that it, it will operate on five zones. There's the name there, so I'm well pleased. Anyhow, I'm going to stop talking now. But as I say once again, thank you for subscribing uh, once I've got my good vision back again hopefully I'll be able to answer more questions on the um, on the actual typing in stuff I'll do it now I'll probably type it and get a load of spelling mistakes anyhow thanks again I will put something up on the plants um, there hopefully seeing a bit of warmer weather not tremendously warmer but a little bit warmer and um, hopefully I'll be able to do that anyhow thanks again I'm going to clear down please subscribe please pass comments please do all the things you normally do on YouTube and uh, thank you again thank you for watching thank you